Peter Carey has had to live with the sadness of his son's suicide for five years. You always wonder if you could have done more, more than you did, even if you, you know you couldn't have. Stephen took his own life after being found fit for work on the government's work capability assessment. He'd severe depression and bipolar. You can see what's wrong with somebody if they're physically disabled to a certain extent. With a mental health you don't always have that. Sometimes it's buried quite deeply. After Stephen's suicide, the coroner wrote an official letter to the then Labour government warning them to review the system for mental health claimants. But then the coalition took office and their rollout of welfare reform began. The man then charged with reviewing the system says he never heard about Stephen's case. Would you have made it more of a priority to look at the people with mental health problems if you'd known about this? It's easy to look back in hindsight and say what I would do. Yes, I would have. I got round to making it a priority in my third year when it was actually a specific section of the report, additional medical information. This is a tragic death which has been compounded by a major system error, a warning from a coroner about the problems with the work capability assessment, which appears not to have been noticed or uh, proceeded with by the independent reviews, simply because they weren't aware of it. In a statement, the Department of Work and Pension said we've made significant improvements to the work capability assessment, including improving the process for people with mental health conditions. But five years ago, there could have been more help to support Stephen Carey. His father says lessons should have and could have been learnt sooner and improvements are still needed to help others with mental illness like his son. Penny Marshall, News at 10, Suffolk.